Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis coming with you with another toy review video. Now, this week's video is more of a toy add-on review. Uh, this is uh, basically showcasing Shockwave Labs accessories. We have Shockwave Labs SL22, uh, posable hands for Titans Returns Overlord. In addition, we also have SL25, which are the add-on kits for, again, Titans Returns Overlord, which includes the, uh, the, you know, the handheld rifle that you see there. You also have on a couple of engine components. I'm going to try and zoom in on those. There we go. And those are going to actually go on the Titan Masters. Now, for anyone that has the US version of Overlord, uh, when you open up his chest, co his chest compartments, you see those two hollow areas. Well, those are where the, where the Titan Masters are supposed to plug in. However, until Power of the Primes, the Titan Masters were basically you know, renamed Headmasters, and, well, basically, you know, if you plug in the Titan Masters in there, you've got two faces staring right back at you on his chest, so it kind of reminds me of, uh, the Demon Turtle Jinmen from the series Devil Man. <laughs> so, whoever, you know, whoever is familiar with, uh, Go Nagai work, you will know, <laughs> about Jinmen. Anyway, uh, moving on ahead. So those engine components, basically, and this is where this awesome, this awesome screwdriver that was supplied by Shockwave Labs uh, is going to come in because we're going to go ahead and unscrew the, uh, uh, the, you know, the faces from the Headmaster, Titanmaster components and put those engine pieces on there. Now, for anyone that has the the Takara Tomy version of Overlord, this is where this piece comes in. Because with the Takara Tomy version, uh, you have the two different faces for Overlord. One's a more feminine for, uh, for Mega, and the other one's more masculine for Giga. What you would do is basically connect those faces onto onto this piece, and then you just plug them into the uh, you know into the into the head uh, portion, and then of course you put in the engine components for both Mega and Giga over here. So uh, now the next thing we're going to see are the hands and man they are awesome looking um, I had gotten the uh, the uh, LR22 I mean SL22s uh, you know before the other set came in I was waiting to go ahead and do the review once I had both both versions on there but this took me a bit I had to contact the seller and then the seller said, well, can you Google it? I'm like, oh, gee, thanks for the freaking help. But I did, and uh, I think it was TFW2000.com uh, that um, uh, that had an article about that. And, you know, basically, you just plug this into the hand. And let me try and focus on that. And that that uh, post that you see there, it plugs right into the hand and you just fold the other hand in and there you go. Of course this doesn't replace the hand uh, for when you transform him so you have to remove these so it becomes a parts former in a way. But um, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's go ahead and um, yeah, seeing as how, uh, let's go ahead and see 
who we're going to sacrifice, which Titan Masters we're going to use. Now, unfortunately, I was unable to to find a loose Giga or Mega, or even two versions of the of the uh, Titan Master that came with Overlord, the U.S. version. So I'm going to go ahead, sorry, and use you know this little Barney like. Uh, Decepticon, I'm going to be using his Headmaster, and then I'm going to be using Eight Face over here. So for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, take off their faces. I'm going to put them in a baggie so when the time comes, I'll just switch them out. Uh, so give me a moment to get some things uh, situated, and I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, like I mentioned before, I keep on accidentally hitting my damn tripod. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically place the, uh, yeah, the uh, SL-22 handset. So I'm going to take off his rifle here. And like I said before, in the article, you know, we're just going to go ahead and going to go ahead and just put his hand in the fist and then we're just going to fold it up while at the same time there we go it's got to be facing out like so I'm going to try and show you see how he's kind of holding it that is what you're going to do and then you're going to fold the original hand in now originally when I got this set I was assuming that I would have to go ahead and take this piece, the, the arm apart, but you know, Shockwave Labs made it a little bit simple, so that is good. Uh, I figured that it would be a complete, um, it would be a complete uh, switch, basically. But it became part of the transformation, so that is one hand. I'm going to go ahead and put in the other. Go ahead and you know have him holding it like so and we're going to fold the hand in and there you go now one of the good things about these hands and I'm going to show you is that they are you can rotate them they are on a whoops they are they are on a mushroom pig so you do have you know a good range of motion uh, fingers are articulated so you know doing that you know, holding whatnot so it's a good thing and then of course with his weapon it does have and I'm going to try and pull this thumb open so he does have an articulated thumb but he does have a little arch or a little uh, ridge where it's kind of circled in and you can place the rifle in there and then you just swing that open and you can keep the, the finger out like he's about to pull the trigger now this is where it goes into our other set the SL25 so I'm going to go ahead and take this off just going to toss that off the side and we're going to take this rifle where as you can tell it is very well done this is a good 3d printed uh, rendering you know it's man um, wow and as you can tell there's like a little gray paint here uh, but it should fit into that slot and but um oh man that is awesome looking I'm gonna try and uh, put him back here and see if I can try and uh, yeah so let me zoom out just a bit As you can 
detail. That is an awesome, that is an awesome weapon he's got. Um, wow, I mean, that, that looks good. It is so reminiscent of his G1 weapon. Keep on hitting the wrong button here. So as you can tell, that is an awesome looking, uh, a really awesome looking, uh, you know, add-on set. Cause man, uh, I mean, I don't know what to say. This. Oof. Anyway. Let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, give me a moment to readjust. All right, I am back. And we're about to go ahead and sacrifice two perfectly good Titan Masters. Now, as I stated previously, seeing as how I hadn't found anything that kind of resembled, uh, you know, the color scheme for like Mega and Giga, or the color scheme that uh, Overlord's Titan Master has. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it alone. Uh, so we're not going to use this piece for right now. I'm going to go ahead and put this into its baggie. <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and take off, well, tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and take the, uh, the Titan Masters off before we begin. Alrighty, now we got, uh, I believe this one is known as Overdrive, and this one is a face. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take off their faces, and by doing that, I'm going to go ahead and see that little screw right in the center. We're going to use this little screwdriver to do that. So I'm going to go ahead, twist that out. Ooh. Last thing I want is to screw the pig's bear, or I should say the screw bear. Because then I would be really pissed. And I don't have that many Titan Masters. Oop, there goes the the base. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead. And so one of the things about this, and I don't know if you can see it, there is a little peg here and a little slot here. And that goes, whoop, oh, sorry. Uh, so that goes, that slot goes into there, the peg goes right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just See if I can get that in there. Oof. Well, let's see if I can do it this way. Oh, hang on, folks. Oops. There they are. As you can tell, over overdrive or overload, whatever his name is, and ape face. Their faces are now off, and as I turn them around, they have oops, their engine components. Sorry about my fat hand being in the way. And man, that is awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at how they'll look. All right, there is Overlord, and let's go ahead and open up. Ta-da! And as you can tell, that looks pretty awesome, honestly. That, 
is a definite change makes him more look like his original G1 uh, you know toy oh man that is yeah I, I'm totally floored at this point uh, this is a very very good uh, uh, very very good investment it took a while to get here um, you know I wound up ordering these through eBay uh, though I no longer see the listing for the SL25 set though I think I did see that set again on Toy Safari which I have ordered a, a different set uh, for my Earthrise Prime uh, which I've yet to receive yet so it, again maybe just taking the slow boat you know uh, but uh, there were some issues in there uh, these are 3d printed items however the problem is that uh, they didn't fit exactly so I had to do some shaving off of not just on the inside of that piece but also on the uh, on the Titan Bastard itself to be able to, for it to fit properly so you may have to do some a little bit of cosmetics on there now uh, if nothing else before before we go ahead and end this uh, video let's go ahead and take a look at how they look in vehicle mode all right I am back and well as I was putting them in vehicle mode um, you know of course we had to go ahead and take off these hands so yeah they're back to the original hands it has it's already folded up uh, the only drawback is that this weapon will not fit into where this uh, Yeah, this tank turret is uh, which is kind of a bummer because basically uh, the you know this this vehicle originally had this as its tank turret and so oh well but all in all you know I do have a very very good look and I've been looking for a set like this for a while, ever since I saw the video that, uh, oh god, what was it, uh, I think it was TF Collector 75, uh, had put out the, uh, the video that he had picked up at, uh, one of the Transformer cons, and I couldn't find it at all, uh, I tried looking on the link, uh, they didn't have it anymore, it was just by pure blind luck that I saw it on eBay, and then, of course, I saw it again on TF Safari. Now, I haven't really uh, looked into it further with TF Safari, uh, mostly because I already have a set coming in for my for my Earthrise Prime. Uh, so I have to go ahead and uh, uh, basically where there are funds that I would need to go ahead and you know take advantage of that. Um, now, in terms of the Prime Masters, or I should say the Titan Masters that I am utilizing right now, I am going to look for ones that are more in scale, or not more in scale, but more color scheme wise, closer to like Giga and Mega. So if I'm able to find those, great. If I'm able to find Giga and Mega just for, the, just for themselves and then put these pieces on those, that would even be so fucking awesome. Uh, so, uh, like I said, um, it's a great set. So um, let me put this back in robot mode and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, folks, there he is. All basically transformed, labeled, upgraded, and he is looking fucking awesome, man. Uh, I don't know what to say on this. I mean, he is... Take these faces out of the way and put them in the bag. He... 
I mean, I'm pretty sure there are other better looking upgrade kits, though so, so far some of the ones I have seen, ah, uh, yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. But all in all, I'm happy with how this looked. I mean, I mean, good gravy. The, I don't know what else to say, man. It's, he's an awesome looking figure. And I'm, I'm glad I got him. I'm glad that I was able to upgrade him to where he looks more G1. So, I mean, I know that if I'm ever so lucky to get that type of Grail item, because he's one of my Grail items right there, um, man, I, I definitely would be happy. Uh, but... Um, that's my that's my personal opinion on that. I'd like to hear what you think of it. Do you think this set is good for this particular figure? Would you get a would you get this set yourself? Uh, leave your comments, questions, concerns, suggestions in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to this video. Ring the bell notification so that way you'll know when new and upcoming videos are coming up. Um, if you want to contribute in some way, shape, or form to this channel, there's more information in the description down below. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone that is watching my videos, that's leaving a comment. Uh, I mean, because basically, I mean, I love, ever since I got started doing videos, I just enjoy showing off what I do have um, and sometimes it does send me whenever I have to part ways with certain pieces of my collection or but it also makes me happy that someone else is enjoying them but at the same time I'm also looking at whenever there are upgrades like repo labels from toy hacks or like with shockwave labs with this little upgrade set that's also you know a good thing so I like to show that off. So, um, uh, now, with everything that's going on, not just with COVID, but with all the protests going around in reference to uh, George Floyd, uh, I want everyone to be safe out there. I know, I mean, it's hard enough with COVID-19 running rampant and everything. Uh, we have to change the way we do things in life. But now, with what's happened recently, uh, the uh, with all the protests out there, I just want everyone to be careful. I mean, you can do a protest, but don't let it get out of hand to where to where other people are riling others up just just to see something burn, you know, because then it defeats the purpose, it defeats what you're trying to get across, so I want everyone out there to be careful, please, uh, so, and so once again, I'd like to thank everyone watching my videos, this is Phoenix Draconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side, peace.